From exploring the city's rich history and cultural heritage to enjoying outdoor adventures and trying local cuisine, here are the best things to do in Medellin. Number 12. Take the Metro Cable up to Parque Arvi. The Metro Cable is a cable car system in Medellin that takes you up to the beautiful Parque Arvi, a natural reserve located in the eastern hills of Medellin. Parque Arvi offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape and is a great place to spend a day exploring outdoors. The park is home to a variety of flora and fauna, including many species of birds and butterflies. You can take guided tours through the park or simply wander on your own and take in the sights and sounds of nature. The park also has a number of recreational activities available, such as hiking, biking, and horseback riding. Number 11. Visit El Castillo Museo y Jardines Also known as the Castle Museum, El Castillo Museo y Jardines is a stunning architectural masterpiece featuring a mix of Gothic and Renaissance styles. The castle is surrounded by beautiful gardens, which are perfect for a leisurely stroll. Inside the castle, you find a museum with a collection of art, antiques, and artifacts from around the world. The museum also hosts temporary exhibitions, so there's always something new to see. Visiting El Castillo Museo y Jardines is a great way to learn about the history and culture of Medellin and to enjoy a relaxing and beautiful setting. Number 10. Learn about Medellin's history at Casa de la Memoria. Casa de la Memoria is a museum in Medellin that is dedicated to preserving and sharing the history of the city, including its troubled past. The museum features interactive exhibits that explore the social, political, and cultural issues that have shaped Medellin and the surrounding region. One of the key themes of the museum is a violent history of the city, particularly during the time of Pablo Escobar and the Medellin Cartel. The museum includes exhibits that provide information about the rise and fall of the cartel and the impact it had on the city and its people. The exhibits also explore the efforts of the government and civil society to combat the violence and bring about peace and reconciliation. The museum also provides an opportunity to learn more about the city's ongoing efforts to build a more peaceful and just society. Number 9. Hang out at Parque Lleras Parque Lleras is a popular neighborhood located in the upscale neighborhood in El Poblado and it's known for its vibrant nightlife, with a wide variety of bars, clubs, and restaurants catering to a young and lively crowd. One of the main reasons Parque Lleras is so famous is that it's considered the epicenter of the city's nightlife. During the day, the park is a popular spot for locals and tourists alike to relax, socialize, and enjoy the outdoor space. At night, the park comes alive with music and entertainment, as local bars and clubs stay open late. The park is surrounded by a number of popular restaurants, bars, and clubs, making it a great place to experience the local nightlife. Number 8. Visit Pueblito Paisa Located on the top of a hill, Pueblito Paisa is a replica of a traditional Antioquian town with narrow cobblestone streets, colorful houses, and charming plazas. It offers a glimpse into the region's rich history and cultural traditions, with a number of museums and cultural centers that showcase the art, music, and dance of the Antioquia region. Pueblito Paisa is also a great place to enjoy panoramic views of the city, with several lookout points that offer breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains and valleys. There are also a number of restaurants, cafes, and souvenir shops in the area, making it a great place to relax and enjoy some local Cuisine. Number 7. Eat Bandeja Paisa If you're visiting Medellin, you should definitely try Bandeja Paisa, a traditional dish that is considered the national dish of the region. Bandeja Paisa is a hearty and flavorful meal that is sure to satisfy your appetite. The dish consists of a variety of ingredients, including rice, beans, avocado, plantain, chorizo, and a grilled sirloin steak. All of these ingredients come together to create a truly mouth-watering meal that is full of flavor and texture. Besides its delicious taste, Bandeja Paisa is also a great way to learn about and experience the culture of the region. It is a traditional dish that has been enjoyed by locals for generations and is sure to give you a true taste of Colombia. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 6. Admire the sculptures at Plaza Botero. Plaza Botero is home to a stunning collection of sculptures by the world-renowned Colombian artist Fernando Botero. These sculptures, which are all larger than life renditions of people and animals, are a testament to Botero's unique artistic style, 
which is characterized by his use of exaggerated proportions and round, voluminous forms. These sculptures have an ability to capture the essence of their subjects in a way that is both playful and profound. Whether it's the graceful curves of a dancer's body or the powerful presence of a horse, each sculpture is a work of art that invites viewers to see the world in a new light. Plaza Potato is also a great place if you're looking to relax with a cup of coffee, browse local handicrafts, or simply take in the sights and sounds of the city. Number 5. Paraglide over Medellin If you're looking for a thrilling and unique way to experience the beauty of the city, consider paragliding over Medellin. This exciting activity allows you to soar high above the city, taking in breathtaking views of the mountains, valleys, and cityscape below. From high above, you'll be able to take in the full scope of Medellin's stunning natural beauty, from the lush green forests and rolling hills to the sparkling waters of the Rio Medellin. As you glide through the air, you'll feel a sense of freedom and exhilaration that is truly unmatched. Number 4. Shop at the San Alejo Handicraft Market If you're looking for a unique and authentic shopping experience, be sure to visit the San Alejo Handicraft Market. This vibrant market is a treasure trove of locally made crafts, souvenirs, and other artisanal products. You'll also get to discover the rich cultural traditions of Colombia, from colorful handwoven textiles and intricate beadwork to beautifully crafted wood carvings and ceramics. The market is filled with a wide variety of handmade items that reflect the rich cultural heritage of the region. Another reason to visit the market is a chance to support local artisans and small businesses. By purchasing handmade items at the market, you'll be helping to preserve traditional crafts and contribute to the local economy. Number 3. Visit Watape and Climb the Rock Watape is a charming town located just a short drive from Medellin, and it is well worth a visit for its stunning natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. One of the main attractions of Watape is the iconic El Peñol Rock, which towers over the town and offers panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. The rock can be climbed by a series of steep stairs, and the reward for reaching the top is a breathtaking view of the landscape below. Also, the colorful houses in Watape are a characteristic feature of the town and have become a popular attraction for visitors. The houses are painted in bright, vibrant colors, with many featuring intricate murals and intricate details. The use of bright colors is believed to have originated from the town's history as a fishing village, where the fishermen would paint their boats and houses in bright colors to distinguish them from the surrounding landscape. Today, the colorful houses in Watape are a symbol of the town's cultural identity and are a popular subject for photography. Many visitors to Watape take pictures of the houses and streets, and the town has become a popular destination for artists and photographers looking to capture the vibrant, colorful atmosphere. Number 2. Visit Comuna 13 Comuna 13 is a neighborhood located in the southwest of the city that has a rich history and culture. It was once considered one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Medellin when Pablo Escobar controlled the area but has undergone significant transformation in recent years. You can take a guided tour of the neighborhood to learn more about its history. Today, Comuna 13 is known for its vibrant street art, which covers the walls of the neighborhood and has become a popular attraction for tourists. The street art reflects the history and culture of the neighborhood and it is a great way to learn about the local community. Don't forget to ride the famous outdoor escalators of Comuna 13, which are the first in the country. They provide lots of great photo ops. Number 1. Visit the Pablo Escobar Sites in Medellin If you're a history buff or simply interested in learning more about the life and legacy of one of the most famous drug lords in history, then a visit to the Pablo Escobar Sites in Medellin is definitely worth considering. Pablo Escobar was a Colombian drug lord who rose to power in the 70s and 80s and was known for his wealth and influence. He was also responsible for much of the violence and crime that plagued the city of Medellin during this time. Despite his criminal activities, Escobar remains a controversial and polarizing figure in Colombia, and his life and legacy continue to be the subject of much interest and fascination. Out of respect for Colombians, we do not recommend going on a Pablo Escobar tour or fattening the pockets of his accomplices by visiting the museum that glorifies his life. But we think that going on a self-guided tour and visiting some Pablo Escobar sites allow you to learn more about this complex and controversial figure and gain a deeper understanding of the city's history. The main locations include the house where Pablo Escobar was killed, his gravesite, Barrio Pablo Escobar, and the Monaco building, which is now demolished. Two sites outside of Medellin worth visiting are La Catedral, the infamous prison Escobar built for himself, and Hacienda Napoles. 
one of his luxurious estates which is converted into a theme park. Here, there is also a museum that tells of the atrocities committed by the cartel. Click here for more tips while traveling in Colombia.